Hey everybody, Happy New Year to you all. This is the first video of 2023 and I wanted to do a video focusing on the Ludwig stainless steel kit. This kit is from the late 70s, I'm not exactly sure what year, but uh, I acquired the kit back in summer of last year. Uh, you may remember that I borrowed this kit to make some videos earlier in the year and I ended up buying the kit and when I bought it, it came with a 15 by 12 tenor drum that was being used as the tom and um, it had the high tension lugs. And I really liked that drum, but I've since uh, sold it because shortly after I got the kit, I found this drum. And this drum is an actual stainless steel tom from, from the same era. Um, it's a 15 by 12 and it, it is stainless steel. The, the tenor drums were made of Lud alloy, which is the aluminum, galvanized aluminum alloy, basically the same as the superphonic snare drums. I was happy to find this drum, and I also like the fact that it has the classic lugs which match the rest of the kit. Um, the, the kit also came with a 14 by 10 tom as well, which is up there, which I will take out and uh, get set up, make some videos with very soon. So the, the kit is basically 26 by 14 bass drum. That's a virgin bass drum. There's no holes drilled for a tom mount or for a cymbal mount. Uh, floor toms are 16 by 16 and 18 by 16. And then this is my trusty old late 60s superphonic six and a half snare drum. You know the thing about this kit is it sounds really great and it feels really great to play and I never imagined that I would like a steel kit very much I always assumed that they would be kind of bright and loud and maybe a little harsh but uh, these don't have that kind of quality at all they're very warm and they are loud but they they have a really nice warmth to them and um, they have a real nice give to them as well so they just feel really good to play. So what I wanted to do is play a little bit, just kind of explore the sounds, especially of the toms, uh, you know, at different dynamic levels. I feel like often, you know, I'm hitting these drums pretty hard when I'm doing play along videos and stuff, but they really do have a beautiful tone that I think is served well by lighter playing, more dynamic playing. So I'm just going to kind of you know, freewheel it a little bit here and and, uh, and just explore the sounds of the drums. So here we go.
Beautiful kid to play. Really love this kid. For some reason, they didn't record so well on the uh, live recordings, you know, the bootlegs where you had like a soundboard recording. I don't know why that is, but they're really, really incredible sounding drums. And I think they're recorded to very good representation on the uh, Nebworth concerts from 79. Yeah, love this kit. Happy New Year, everyone. See you soon.